What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Comcast Mister Fifty One Fifty YMDLU dot com. Got on my subscriber shades and and I got this on my head, man. Just to show my respect and my way to to the folks that lost their lives at the shooting in Colorado, but. You know, I don't understand why in order for the different races to come together, hug, cry, and mourn their family members and friends that were killed. Why does it take a tragedy, America? Why does it take a six-year-old? being shot to death in a movie theater for a black woman to hold a white lady and hug and cry together. Why must it take a tragedy for us to understand that beyond the skin tone, we have the same financial problems, we have the same family problems, we have the same employment problems. The only difference is your skin. And I know a lot about race problems because I live in the South. I live in Savannah, Georgia. You know, and I experience racism just like a white guy that goes goes into a black owned store would would experience racism. But you know, when I heard about the shooting, man, I felt so, so bad. You know, and I was thinking to myself, I was like, why would parents take their six, six-year-old child out to the movies? And I was like, hold up, just that—that that doesn't matter. You know, as Americans. We we have the right to go wherever, whenever, what time that we damn well please, you know. But what gives that guy the right to kill them? You know what I'm saying, man. I'm, you know, a lot of people probably had read that story and was like, wow, you know, and just went on, but. Just as well as that happened in Colorado, it could have happened right here. Hell, it could have been my family. Hell, it could have been your family. So, I mean, like, when tragedies like this happen, man, I stop. And I think about it, man. And I thank my creator that it wasn't me, but I also mourn for the family. I don't, I don't give a damn what color that they were. You fuck, it was black, white, Asian, Palestinian, German, British. They still human. And as people, they got the right to go wherever they want to go, no matter what time it is with their family. I just feel bad, man, because, you know, because I got a six-year-old daughter, man. And to be honest with you, man, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to cry right now because... I would, because I was just thinking, man, like, what if I had went out with my wife and my kids, man, you know, and some idiot with a gun just just went crazy, you know, and even being a a licensed gun owner, man, you know, in a crowded, dark place where a person is firing wildly, in order for me to successfully pull my weapon and hit that target, I got to know who's shooting and where it's coming from and make sure that that once I found that person, when I fire, that I can make sure that there isn't an innocent bystander. I mean, so, I mean, it's like, man, like, like what do you do? Like, how do you live? Like, how do you go on after after you lose a child like that? After you lose a brother, 
a mother, a father, a, 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 a cousin, a best friend like that, to something like that, to just some somebody that didn't care about life no more, just say, fuck it. You know, I hate myself, but I'm not going to kill myself. I'm going I'm to take all these other people with me. It, it's, it's horrible, man. It's, it's, it's horrible. And I would have did a video about this the day it happened, but I couldn't because I, I just couldn't. I mean, it just wasn't. I just couldn't formulate the word formulate. I just couldn't form form up the words to talk about it. You know, and 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 it's sad, man. And you know, as as I'm sitting here, man, I'm looking at the. You know, I'm looking at the uh, the uh, CNN website of a man. It says Colorado massacre mourning the victims, and it got a man walking up on the hill. And in the background is four crosses, and it's a man carrying four more crosses up on the hill, and it's a bright sun right there. You know, the sun is beaming. It's sad, man. And it's like the worst thing about it is you know, it's people that don't that that don't even acknowledge that all those people had got killed. All those people got shot. You know, I looked on um YouTube and it was other stuff was trending. I was like, "Wow, man! All those people' lives gone." You know, um, it doesn't matter to people until it hits their doorstep, man. I, I've, I've, I've seen that a lot in my lifetime. Like when I was growing up, uh, a. Uh, you know, I grew up around a lot of shootings and stuff, man. You know, so, you know, so I'm kind of familiar. But but I will not never forget this time when this guy was outside and somebody else got shot. And he was like, oh, well, man, I'm going to the mall. Give me some shoes. You know, I was, was nonchalant, man. And uh, a couple of years later, man. One of his family members that got shot, you know, and it was like, man, you know, that guy was hurt. You know, he was like, man, who shot so and so, man? What happened? His his world stopped. He didn't want to do nothing. He didn't. Want, he didn't even want to eat or breathe. And I just thought to myself, I was like, wow, that's that's ironic because when it happened to somebody else, you know, that you didn't even care, you know. But when it happens on your doorstep, you are irate and stuff, which 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 he should be, but just being heartless to somebody else, man. You know, because I don't know none of those people. They got shot. I don't know none of the other people that got killed. But they're human. You know. Just families, man. Just out there just trying to have a good time. And watch a movie. It's it's sad, man. You know, it's sad. You know, when I was in the military, man, you know, I lost a lot of friends. And, um, you know, I, I, I think about them to this day, man. You know, and, um, and it hurts because, you know, because you think, well, um, 
you know, that guy had had a wife and kids, man. But when he go home, he's going in a body bag, you know, and, you know, crazy, man. I guess I'll finish up this video in part two because it's going on 10 minutes and 30 seconds. So anyway, y'all, you know, Yum D. Lou, I, oh, yeah. And I said that I would give a shout-out to my home homeboy, Wes Woody, man. Peace.